Arizona Diamondbacks hosting the Chicago Cubs, and the D-backs are minus 120. The Cubs are plus 100 on the money line. The over-under is nine runs. Chicago getting a run and a half are minus 190, meaning if they win this game outright, you win, or if they only lose by one, you win. The D-backs laying a run and a half are plus 160, meaning if you bet them that way, they have to win this game by two. Steele didn't pitch against the D-backs last year, and Castellanos did not pitch against the Cubs last year, ironic enough. Now, head-to-head, um, overall, the Cubs are on a one-game winning streak. The D-backs are on a one-game losing streak. Head-to-head, the Cubs are 7-3 and three against the D-backs in their past 10. The team getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. It's pretty much a coin toss of take your pick of which way it's going to go. And the over-9 is 5-5. Five and five. These games have either been really close or one team has been blowing out the other team. This year, these teams are 1-1 one and one against each other. The team getting a run and a half is 2-0, and oh, and the under 9 is 2-0 and oh when they've played against each other this year. I'm going to take the Cubs with the money line. I'm going to take the Cubs getting the runs, and I'm going to go under the 9 because that's how the numbers are trending this year. Let's see if they're right. Let's see if they're wrong.